graphs with log functions, unit 13, day 3. So, um, the parent function is f of x equals log base x, or log of x. And if it doesn't have a base, remember it's a 10. Now, if you think back, logarithms and exponentials are inverses of each other. Remember, because that's why we could go back and forth between a logarithm and an exponential. So, when you graph an exponential, I did this backwards, so I'm just going to put these graphs up here. It always crosses at 1, 0, so we're looking at this right one right here. Ignore the left one. We're looking at this one right here. So, it always crosses at 1, 0 if it's not transformed, and it goes right along the x-axis and then goes up. Well, for a log, it's the inverse, so we can flip that. We're going to flip this graph over that line right there. And if we reflect that over that line, it goes like that, right? So that's this graph right here. So now, oh, this crosses at 0, 1, not 1, 0. So that crosses at 0, 1. This one's going to cross at 1, 0. And it goes along the y-axis instead of the x-axis and then goes into infinity, goes up to infinity. Okay, so that's just the basic gist of these two graphs. Make sure you have those drawn. And I also want you to write this. So inside, ah, what's happening? Sorry. Inside, ah! <laughs> and now for real. Okay, inside goes left or right. I want you to write that like up in this little blank space right there, or you could write it down here, I guess. Inside goes left or right, and this will make more sense once we get to ones that we actually have to do this. Inside goes left or right. Outside is up or down. So inside is left and right. Outside is up and down. Okay. Now, let's get into graphing these. So we have f of x equals log base 2 of x. Well, we can't really plot points for that because we're, that's just going to make it more complicated for us to actually put that into the calculator and we're going to have to use log base 2 and blah, blah, blah. It's just going to be kind of a mess. So we're going to use 2 to the x power. We're just going to kind of ignore this log right here. Bye. And we're just going to do 2 to the x power. Okay. And that's how I'm going to start my t-chart. So this will be 2 to the negative second power is 0.25, so that's my y value right there. To the negative first power is 0.5, so that's that value. 2 to the 0 power is 1, so that's that value. 2 to the first power is 2, so there's that value. And 2 to the second is 4. Okay, now, but that's for the exponential function. If I was to graph that, I would graph 2 to the x logarithms and exponentials are inverses of each other. So I need to invert this table right here. And to do that, you just switch your x and your y values. So that's going to be negative 2.5, or positive 2.5, sorry. Positive 0.25, really struggling. And then negative 2. So you're just switching the x and the y values. 0.5 and negative 1. 1 and 0, 2 and 1, 4 and 2. When you do this, you have to show me both tables. I am going to mark it wrong 100% of the time if you don't show me both tables. Okay? So then those are the values we're going to graph. So 0.25, negative 2 is right there. 0.5, negative 1, right there. 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2. We can graph that. Okay? You get the graph. Now let's do the domain. So the domain is your x values. So that's from left to right. The smallest this ever goes to the left is 0. So that's going to be 0 to infinity. Range is y values. So from the bottom to the top, that's negative infinity to positive infinity. Now end behavior. This is going to be, the left side of this graph is going to zero. So we're using these values right here. We're using our domain. It won't let me circle that. I don't know why. 
Um, we're using this right here. We're using our domain. So as x goes to 0, f of x, the left side of this graph is going down, so it's going to negative infinity. Then as x goes to infinity, f of x is going up forever, so that's going to infinity. Now my x-intercept here is right there, so that's 1, 0. Then my asymptote is whatever my domain was, so that's x equals 2. So on logarithms, the asymptotes are always x equals. On exponentials, the asymptotes are always y equals. Okay? Now let's look at this one. So we have log base one-third of x. So we're going to use just one-third to the x power. And you still use negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So one-third to the negative second power is 9. One-third to the negative first power is 3. One-third to the zero power is 1. One-third to the first power is 0.33. And one-third squared is 0.11. But that's for the one-third to the x power. We have to invert that. So we have to do the inverse, switch my x and my y values. So that's going to be 9, 3, 1, 0 0.33, 0 0.11. My y is going to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Those are the values I'm going to graph. So 9, negative 2 is right there. 3, negative 1 is right there. 1, 0 is right there. 0 0.331 is there. 0 0.11, 2. Then we can draw that. Now my domain is my x values. So that's going to be 0 to infinity because you go left to right. Range is my y values. So that's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity because it's from the bottom to the top. And behavior, as x goes to 0, that's the left side of the graph. f of x goes to positive infinity. And as x goes to infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity. That's the right side of the graph. My x-intercept here is 1, 0. My asymptote is the same as the domain, so x equals 0. Okay, let's do this one. Now remember what I had you write. Inside, left to right, outside, up and down. So we have this x minus 1 in there. Well, that, it's inside, and if you're ever moving left and right, it's opposite of what you think. So since that's minus 1, it's really going to go right 1. So I'm going to go right one, and I'm going to draw my new axis right there. Okay. Now, I've already dealt with the minus one, so I'm just going to make my table for four to the x power. So that's going to be 0 0.06, 0 0.25, 0 0.1, 4, and 16. And we have to invert that. So that's going to be 0 0.06, 0 0.25, 1, 4, 16. And negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And I can just graph those points. So point zero six, negative 2 is right there. And you're graphing off of the new axis. Point two five, negative 1 is right there. 1, 0, right there. 4, 1, right there. 16, 2 would be off the graph. So we can't really graph that. And then we can just draw this line. Okay, now my domain here, x values, so from left to right... The smallest x value this is going towards is 1, so that would be 1 to infinity. My range is my y values, so from the bottom to the top, negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, n behavior, as x goes to 1, f of x goes to negative infinity, and as x goes to infinity, f of x goes to infinity. My x-intercept, right there, so that's at 2, 0. Then my asymptote is x equals 1 because it's the same as whatever my domain was. Okay, let's do just one more. So we have log base 3 of x minus 2. Now remember, inside is left and right, outside is up and down. This is on the outside because there's no parentheses. So that minus 2 is going to move it down 2. So I'm going to go down 2 and draw my new axis right there. Now I'm going to make my chart using 3 to the x power. So that's going to be 0 0.11, 0 0.33, 1, 3, 9. Then we have to invert it. So we have to do the inverse. 0 0.11, 0 0.33, 1, 3, 9. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. 
And that's what I'm going to graph. So 0 0.11, negative 2, right there. 0.33, negative 1, right there. 1, 0, 3, 1, 9, 2. Then we can graph that. Now my domain is the x values. So this is going to go from 0 to infinity because it's left to right. Range is the y values. So that's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity because from the bottom to the top. And behavior, as x goes to 0, f of x goes to negative infinity. And as x goes to infinity, f of x goes to infinity. My x-intercept is right there at 9, 0. And then my asymptote, same as my domain, so it's x equals 0. Okay? Save those last two examples. Um, remember to take the quiz. I'll see you guys tomorrow.